we, we know you, we love you from, from Curb, Curb Your Enthusiasm on, on HBO. But listen, I mean, we saw you in the clip. This is, it's, a, it's an important episode in this whole series about yeah, comedy right. and, and the darker side and addiction and, and alcohol and drugs and whatnot. And I mean, you, you wrote a book about this. You had your own battle. Uh, tell me, what's different about your comedy being sober versus not? Well, I've been sober almost 23 years, a day at a time, as they say, which is true, and sometimes a minute at a time. But I, w I was hell-bent on being honest as a comedian from the get-go, and I was. But it wasn't until I admitted that I was a drunk and an, al and an alcoholic uh, and a sex you name it, you could be addicted to anything, really. Uh, and when I got clean and sober, uh, is that when my comedy really took off for me personally because then I was really myself on stage. I always thought I was myself. I mean, I did, I mean, I had success and I was, I usually tried to watch myself, which was my rationalization, like I did Carnegie Hall and I was, this is an example, like I did two and a half hours, it was sold out and it was a great night, but I would maybe had maybe a half a glass of wine at noon before the show, so I was pretty, I was sober. Yeah. But then after the show, to celebrate the success, I got hammered. And when I went down to the party of like 300 friends from childhood on, I made a complete fool of myself. Mm. So in real life, I was mm. a total mess. What about, though, you know, your humor and people think of you and your appearances with Larry David, and it's that similar uh, comedic style of which we love, which is self-deprecating and, and making your fears and anxieties funny. Well, why do you think doing that has become so popular? Well, I, ha I, I don't know why it's become popular. I did it from the get-go, and, you know, I, you know, my dad died before I became a performer. I had an, mm. an older sister who moved, has four kids when I was, and moved out when I was 12. And my, I had an older brother who, who basically was living in Manhattan. And uh, so I was alone. And my mother, unfortunately, had a lot of problems, you know. And she, I love her, I loved her, but we didn't get along. And uh, she didn't get me. So I really felt my father didn't know anything about my career. My mother didn't get me. So and my my older my siblings were way older so i felt i was tethered like to to nothing you know and uh mm -hmm. so um, that's why it, it's sort of weird that that's I, where it came uh, from yeah that the need to for approval I, now my mother was proud of me but i i wouldn't have known it you know i remember we were watching if we were watching like Jackie Gleason, she would say now that's talent you know so, <laughs> you're you know, like I, thanks thanks but I get it. You know, I mean, not everyone's. I'm glad that nobody, not everybody, in, understands me. You know, it's like, I feel like an independent film. You know, like, you know, it's not for everybody. Let's talk more about you. Just lastly, Richard, curb your enthusiasm. So many fans coming back. Tell me about it. It's unbelievable. I know Larry, Larry David and I were born three days apart in the same ward in Brooklyn. Well, they were the same hospital. womb. Well, could have no. Practically, we would have had a fight in the womb. Believe me, he tried to strangle me with my mother's umbilical cord. That was my umbilical cord. My mother brought a second one. She didn't trust her own. See, I had problems with my mother, but I loved her. But I loved her. No, but Larry and I know each other since birth, and he's a genius. To me, he's the uh, the Norman Lear of this of the last 30 years of this generation, mm -hmm. without question. He's he's a genius, and uh, we love each other. And we fight all the time. In the nine seasons, every scene I have is with him, and every scene is a fight. So when I come home, my wife will say, how did it go? What's the difference? I put makeup <laughs> on. I screamed at him like I did yesterday when we went out to eat. He screamed at me. He edits the show. I don't know what he's going to use. Don't ask me. And, I, you know, and he always watches my back. And I just love the relationship. What a special chapter in your life. And I know there are a lot of people around here, especially, who can't wait to see more of it and more of you. Richard Lewis, thank you so much. Well, it's a great special. I'm glad CNN did it. And I think this one, this Sunday, is maybe, for a lot of reasons, the most profound because it's not just about comedy. It's about human behavior and alcoholism. History of Comedy airs Sunday night, 10 o'clock Eastern, right here on CNN. Richard Lewis, a pleasure.